is based on a character by Melanie Watt. Well, I didn't know I could have that much fun. My throat still hurts from yelling, this is awesome, all night. What are you guys talking about? Daddy's wicked party on Saturday night. You weren't there? Weird. He invited everyone and their sister. Mm -hmm. I brought mine. She's the pretty one. Um, I, I, I wasn't invited. Was it good? Good? Huh? Scary! The DJ was a robot that made waffles. Some parties are... <laughs> but that party was... <laughs> wow, it sounds really... good. <laughs> Scare? What's wrong? Patty threw a party on Saturday and I was the only one not invited. What? You were there. I talked to you all night. <laughs> Are we gonna mingle and have fun, Scary? Or are you just gonna cry chocolate all night? Mmm, these tears are bittersweet. Let me know if you're gonna cry again, okay? <laughs> you heard about my party, huh, Squirrel Paws? Your BFF had a great time, didn't you, Skunk Face? Well, uh, it was an okay party. Really? Just okay? Well, what part did you like best? Was it the bumper cars? <gasps> Amazingly, I didn't enjoy the bumper cars. What about the sponge cake bouncy castle? Oh, <gasps> man, left me wanting more. Oh, 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 what about the midnight fireworks display we watched from a flying yacht made of diamonds? It was the best night of my life! <laughs> Would you stop that? I should throw my own party. Give that Patty Patterson some pointers pertaining to party planning. I just might. Might smite. Just do it. Yep, there's a 62% likelihood that this is definitely something I will maybe consider looking into. Well, um, so are you throwing a party or not? I don't know. Ah! That gives me an idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there with bells on, Scaredy. <laughs> Unless I can figure out how to get this stupid collar off. <laughs> you go, -ho, squirrel friend. Snap. Yeah, back at ya. Whoop, whoop, waka chika, yeah, yeah. Can't wait. Dave, everyone is saying weird stuff to me today. I don't know what's going on. They're probably just excited about your party. P -p party? Dave? What? Did you do? You said you wanted to have a party, so I invited everyone in Balsa City to your house for the party to end all parties. What? Relax. It isn't till tonight. T -t tonight? Tonight. Tonight. The party is tonight. Well, this way you won't have time to overplan and ruin it like every other party you've had. I'll have you know that my parties have all been awesome. Sally, pick a topic from the conversation bowl. <laughs> A recent study says nuts are a good source of fiber. Wow! Interesting! Who'd like to start the discussion? Buck, how many times have I told you to use a coaster? Sorry, no more drinks for you. But I'm thirsty. If you can't respect my table, I can't respect your thirst. Ah! Everyone, I have a big surprise! All right! It's Chokey the CPR Clown! It is no joke when tragedy and cake collide. Ooh, I got chill. I'm out of here. This will go into the top ten worst nights of my life. Wow, top ten? Oh, top ten worst nights. I throw horrible parties? Oh, no! We have to cancel this party or I'm gonna be humiliated! Don't cancel, Scary. I want to be there to witness your failure. 
<laughs> oh, yeah? Then I will have this party, and it'll be the best failure you've ever seen. Yeah? You said it. <laughs> I mean the worst success, no, the funnest disaster that the... Ah, uh, nuts? It's gonna be great! Okay, this party has to be special. Super fancy and super fun. Oh, you should cage fight a rhinoceros in a tiara. I need a punch bowl, chandelier, that's fancy, some snacks. <gasps> Nothing is more fun than a karaoke machine. Nestor has one. Hard to sing while you're fighting a rhinoceros. There's no rhinoceros. I'll find a rhinoceros. I'm not gonna do what my mama told me to. She can't make me, I need a cat. The door is open. Hi, Nestor. I was wondering if I could maybe... What do you want? Oh, c can, can I borrow your karaoke machine? Why would I lend you anything? Because we're friends. Ha! Wait, that should have been more like this. <laughs> Accomplish these tasks, and then you can borrow the machine. Okay, you got it. Thank you. What are you... Get out! <laughs> I'm not sure about the shade you chose, but I suppose it'll do for now. Thanks! So sophisticated. Getting these supplies is gonna take longer than I thought. You can rent clowns, magicians, and jugglers, but not rhinoceroses. Good to know. Dave, I need you to go to my house and turn on the porch light just in case I'm late getting home. Can you handle that? Turn on porch light. Got it. You should maybe do that now before you forget. Forget what? Porch light. Porch light, yes, right. I knew that. I'll turn that on. What? Oh, right, right, right. Now? Yes! Time to get the party supplies. I need, and I did it with time to spare. Huh? Is that sweat? Am I sweating? Get it off! Get it off! <sighs> ah, my party card! <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Who are you? Hello, we are the Borings. I am Boring One. Oh, uh, hello. I am Scaredy Squirrel. You have accident? Oh, no! My supplies! They're ruined! Well, at least this hat is still... Well, that's it! I can't go home. Without these supplies, my party would be a complete failure. What is party? Her Perky. 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 Hello. Party. You teach us a party. I can't plan a party here. You, you need, well, okay. Like maybe you'd sit around here like it's a table and you'd need some refreshments. Like, I don't know, some, uh. Like this. Delicious. Delicious. Good party. <laughs> what? Ah, I surrender. <gasps> the party. Oh, no, I forgot to turn on the porch light, and now it's too late. We should probably turn on the porch light. I told you I wouldn't let you down, Scaddy. Scaddy? Where's Scaddy? Who cares? Without Scaredy, we might actually have a party. Word to your mother. <laughs> oh. Great party. party. Great. This is pretty fun, isn't it? Not a bad... Wait a minute! This is a great party! In fact, 
Wait, isn't this the best party you've ever been to? It's only party we've been. Shh, please, I am in the middle of a pep talk here. It's time I head home and show everyone that I do know what it takes to throw a great party. Goodbye, my little boring friend. Party ran away. <laughs> I've done it! I've learned how to throw a party! All you need are sticks and mud. Let's play past the twigs. It'll be a blast. Ow. And the Borings loved it. Who are the Borings? I found them in the woods after I hit my head and saw the rabbits with ties and carrots on their shirts. Wow! I sound crazy. <laughs> Dave, I threw a great party. These sticks are fun, and I think Stash. we should... Yeah, Hey, put your sticks away. Look around. Everyone's having a super time. This is way better than Patty's party. See? But I had nothing to do with it. Oh, Skitty. That's the secret. Skitty, hop on. We set up a slide that goes from your bedroom right into the bathtub. <laughs> a successful lunch break, and we still have time to celebrate with an acorn smoothie. That's just what I was dreaming of, but with ice cream and a cone and no acorns. Okay. Ow! What was that? It wasn't me, whatever it was. Eh, must have stepped on an acorn. Young man, well, where do you keep the crackers for eating? Crackers for eating? Well, what else would they be for? Ah, uh, they're in aisle four. Ugh, kids these days. <laughs> what is? It's a. But there's a. What? What are you? <laughs> Wait! Ah! No! 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 She's gonna love this. <laughs> Scaredy, you almost made me drop Mama's birthday present. It wasn't me, I was just... There's a birthday? And you ruined a display I didn't have time to insult. I didn't do it, it was a hamster thingy. He did it on purpose. Hamster thingy. It was part hamster and part unicorn, like a hamstercorn. What happens on birthday? <laughs> a hamstercorn? Really? And it was dancing! <laughs> <laughs> a magical dancing hamster. Pathetic and ridiculous. Now cling this up! Brotho! <laughs> I don't get it. I was telling the truth, but Nestor didn't believe me. I believe you, Scare. And I believe in you. And I believe that believing in you is believable. Believe that! <sighs> Thanks, Dave. Oh, medic, no. medic! I got a bubblegum chill and a dapper apple down! Stay with me! Come on! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Dave, 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 look! <laughs> <laughs> How long was I down there? It wasn't me! It was the dancing hamster corn! Yeah, right! The day that exists, I'll eat this paddle! Look at me! I'm a dancing hamster! Ha! I didn't care! Obviously, that hamster corn is messing with me, but why? I don't know, Scare. But I do know this. My eyes are staying open until I see this hamster corn. I will not blink. I will not fail. Starting now. I mean now. Now I will start to not blink. Oh, boy. Hand-drawn fireworks. Ooh. Ah. Dave, look. Quick. <laughs> Ice cream hater! It wasn't me, it was the hamster corn! Oh, will it ever stop hounding me? Don't you mean hamstering you? Mmm, groundy. Let 
me guess. Hamster corn? Actually, Dave. My bad. Whoa! I know you don't believe me, but just give me another chance. I think you've had enough chances. Do you know how much it cost me to buy Mama a second birthday present? It's really, um, where did you find it? Internet. Stop changing the subject! It's time you take some responsibility for your blunders. Nestor, look, it's him! Until further notice, you are suspended from your duties at the store. No! <laughs> Mama! <laughs> You're, um, and I can't believe who did that. <laughs> get out, get out! I don't get it. It's simple. We have to trap the hamster corn and prove he's real. That way everyone will see I've been telling the truth. And you won't be suspended anymore. Suspended. Mine are more fun. Focus, Dave. Now, the hamster corn will enter here into this tube full of hamster seeds. The more of the seeds he eats, the more helium is injected into this balloon. Once he's inside the balloon full of... What? It looked like fun. <laughs> but if you're suspended, I just like saying it that way, then why are we back at the store? Because we gotta get Nestor to see the hamster corn. It's our only hope. <laughs> it was the hamster. <laughs> Why? The corn hamster doesn't want you to have any. <laughs> it was the hamster corn. Other people have seen it. This is great. Uh. The uh, hamster thingy did it. Fuck! You saw the hamster corn? Uh, yeah. He was so uh, big. Big? Small? Did he have a horn on his head? Oh yeah, uh, two big horns that stuck. Two horns? Hey! Happened so fast, Scary. <sighs> Mildred, the hamster corn's fur. It was purple, right? Yeah, purple. Whatever. Its fur is light brown. Do you know what this means? <gasps> Mildred is colorblind. No, it means everyone's using the hamster corn as an excuse for their mistakes. They haven't really seen it. Nestor! Yeah, 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 yes, Mama. Why is my store a disaster? You have five seconds to explain, starting five seconds ago. It's not my fault. It, it was a fiendish hamster. Huge, with a mouthful of fangs and ears that shoot lasers. Not you, too. There he is. And look what he did to your present. He's so evil. Lies, everyone. Helmets on. I'm about to explode. <laughs> Evil hamster corn, and I'll be suspended forever. Evil hamster, you say? Brown fur, a single horn on its head? I can help. Come with me. I'm coming too. It smacked my ice cream. <laughs> Moments later, we arrived at the little shop of what you seek. Dave, get in here. Ah, cool cage. Oh boy, what's this? A fishing rod spy lens. Scary, can I get it? Can I get it? Let's just stay on point, please. Yes, yes, evil hamster. The hamster corn. Really? That's what I've been calling him. He's a hamster with a horn. What else would he be called? He's got a point. Get it? Horn, point. It's not that funny if I have to explain it. <clears throat> a creature who will seek revenge on any attacker until they leave town. What did you do to deserve this fate? Nothing. I didn't... <gasps> Wait a minute. Ow! I... You stepped on him? It was an accident. How do I stop it? Says here you must find the name of his favorite breakfast cereal. Cereal? That has got to be a joke. No, this is a joke. Six is afraid of seven because seven ain't nine. I hate math humor. Come on, Dave. Let's go. Uh, right behind you. That's Mama's seat. She doesn't need a knife and fork. She's a beak eater. Where's the cake? Scaredy said he'd bring it. Scaredy? Rock! I hope this works. Be careful with that. Don't you dare drop it and blame some fictional goat corn. Hey, straighten that banner. Be alert. The hamster corn's gotta be around here somewhere. <laughs> Where is he? The plan will only work if he shows up. 
The cage? What's happening? Ta-da! Gave the cage! Got it. Oops. I should have read the instructions. You think you have me beat? But you'll never know my breakfast treat. Oh, really? Could it be Branjo's? Shaped like banjos with the goodness of brand in every bite. How did you find out? I guess you could say I used my brain, Joe. That sounded better in my head. Ooh, he's watching Goat Police. Ooh, ooh, it's a new episode. Dave, you're supposed to be looking in the kitchen. Uh oh. And that's when we saw you'd put out your trash, and there were empty boxes of Branjos in every bag. I helped. Well, you beat me fair and square. I guess I should leave town. Oh. You don't have to leave. We both made mistakes. He's got a point. Get it? Horn? Point? The both. Forget it. You mean it? Maybe I will stay here. A fresh start. That's the spirit. Why is everyone just standing around? The decor- ah! oh, 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 oh. Who put that furry thumbtack there? Oh, 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 oh. And there it is, another happy ending. Yeah, not so much. It's Scary Squirrel's safety corner. Scary's in the corner and he's safe. Today on Safety Corner, we're going to be talking about the dangers of stepping on pointy objects. The best protection against pointy things is a boot or some sort of shoe that... Well, you don't wear boots. <laughs> You're always in bare feet. That's where you're wrong, my friend. Every morning I put on my undersock, followed by my mohair midsock, my protective iron wool outer sock, then this titanium astronaut grade mega boot. And to top it all off, water resistant replica squirrel like knee highs. And voila! Ready to face the dangerously pointy day. Up, up, hooray! Ah! Thanks for the tip, Scary. Ah! I feel safer already. <laughs> <laughs> 